Hello, Brian Comerford from Classroom Guidance, creating really useful careers content for school leavers. Today, we are looking at scientists and engineers in these areas, the different roles that they do, what the future looks like for them, and their earning potential. Firstly, they comprise of science and engineering technicians, production and design engineers, quality control engineers, production managers, scientists, and other engineering professionals. There are about 120,000 of them working in Ireland. That's about one in 20 of the working population. 47% of these workers are in industry. In other words, they're in companies making stuff, followed by 21% in professional service activities like research, consulting, and supporting the people that are making the stuff. Two thirds are male, one third are female. Nearly all are in full-time employment. One fifth of the workforce comes from abroad. 86% of workers have degrees. 11% have PLC or apprenticeships. So they're really educated. This sector is growing three times as fast as other sectors. So loads of jobs in these professions right now. This is driven mainly by high-tech manufacturing, including pharmaceuticals. So let's have a look at these roles in a little more detail. Analytical chemists explore chemical compositions of substances and how they react under certain conditions. Biomedical, pharmaceutical, analytical chemistry type qualifications will bring you towards these professions. The salary range is 31 to 65,000. Process scientists study energy and how it moves through a process and reduce waste and create value. Salary range 35 to 80,000. Medical scientists study the causes of disease and then develop ways to treat or prevent them. Pathology, biochemistry, microbiology type courses will get you into these professions. Salary range 31 to 61,000. Production or process engineers provide the processes and equipment that are used to turn raw materials such as coffee beans, oil, natural gas or milk into usable end products. Salary range 40 to 90,000. Design engineers develop new design processes and techniques to improve the functionality or look of products. Salary range 30 to 75,000. Quality control engineers ensure that no faulty product reaches the customer at the end of the process, whereas quality assurance engineers build quality into the production process at all stages. Salary range 40 to 75,000. Okay, so now let's have a look at some other engineering professionals like mechanical engineers, these guys apply the principles and problem solving techniques of engineering from design to manufacturing for any object. Salary range 35 to 65,000. Electrical engineers design, develop, supervise and test the production of electrical products. Salary range 45 to 90,000. Automation engineers plan and implement technologies which improve, streamline and automate manufacturing processes. Salary range 26 to 91,000. Validation engineers test systems used to manufacture products. Salary range 38 to 49,000. Next, let's have a look at the technicians. Manufacturing technicians run and maintain factory equipment and assembly processes. In other words, they fix stuff. Salary range 25 to 60,000. Quality assurance technicians make sure existing standards which assure quality within their products are met. Salary range 28 to 80,000. Design technicians work with engineers who create designs for electrical or mechanical products or large structures such as buildings, motorways and bridges. Salary range 45 to 85,000. The new apprenticeships at level 6 and 7 for the medical devices sector are a good bet too. Lastly, we will look at production managers in manufacturing. This is a job you work towards as you gain experience and they look out for ways to improve efficiency from equipment processes and team members. Salary range 40 to 110,000. To sum up, science and engineering occupations are a safe bet with good salaries, as long as you enjoy science subjects and are comfortable in maths. The critical analysis and problem solving skills of scientists and engineers are highly sought after in a range of other occupations. For example, public administration, business professionals, startups and teachers. I'm a guidance counsellor that has a business, but my undergrad was engineering. The engineering degree has given me the foundation to be able to bring ideas to viable products and be an all-round better problem solver. If you need more information on the types of engineering jobs, have a look at our video above. And if you haven't already, subscribe to stay informed. Thank you.